pleasure to turn the proceedings over to the master of the house, Rabbi Sobel. Robert, it's particularly a joy and an honor to share this moment with you as you so lovingly expressed your admiration, indeed the admiration of all of us, for Ismar Shorsh. Learned scholars, precious colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, even better than I, during that long era known as the biblical period, neither early tribal nor later Israel, Israelite identity was shaped by scholarship. Indeed, on the contrary, among the ancient Hebrews, identity was defined as a shared understanding of belonging to a collective covenant as well as by the names that people were given. In that biblical period, it was commonly thought that the name that was given to a man or to a woman somehow was a reflection of their inner essence. Ismar. The name Ismar is a variant of Itamar, referring to a palm tree, and the more commonly used feminine equivalent, Tamar, has the connotations of upright, suggesting qualities of righteousness, gracefulness, integrity. And that is Mar Shorsh is precisely what you are. Upright, thorough, standing tall with your scholarship, standing tall among your scholarly peers, respected, and at the very base of that tree, your students and disciples thirsting and drinking of your scholarly endeavors. And righteous and graceful you are in your dealings with your family, your colleagues, and your friends. And so is Shorsh, as one of your successors in the presidency of the Leo Beck Institute, it is truly my honor on behalf of the Leo Beck Institute to present to you now our highest award, the Leo Beck Medal. Ismar, please come forth. Bob, <clears throat> I thank you for that heartfelt and uh, well-researched uh, tribute. It got you pretty close to the archives. <laughs> 